Hello out there to all of you Powerboat fanatics as well as members of the Florida Powerboat Club uh, who are now joining us on our YouTube channel. This is Stu Jones, and we are happy to be back now with episode number eight with feature coverage of the Key West Poker Run 2019 edition, which featured 269 registered teams heading from Miami to Key West for a week-long celebration of the Florida powerboating lifestyle, which included a scenic ride through the Florida Keys to Key West, uh, then filling up all of the hotels and marinas in Key West with the Poker Run teams, and of course, enjoying the World Championship powerboat races as a backdrop. And we have been doing this for 27 consecutive years. So before we get started, let's thank our Florida Powerboat Club sponsors. These YouTube episodes are brought to you by Mercury Racing Wide Open and by OffLeaseOnly.com, the nation's used car destination. In addition to our 2020 series sponsors pictured here, we'd like to recognize all of these Key West 2019 feature sponsors as seen here on our official event masthead. This is the artwork for our official souvenir t-shirts, posters, and banners. These sponsoring partners play a vital role and it's through their support that Florida Powerboat Club can produce this signature Key West Poker Run event. And as we get into episode 8 with feature coverage, let's just quickly recap where we left off on episode 7. And we had completed all of the poker cards at Grove Harbor Marina in Coconut Grove and that was a lot of teams coming up to the dock to get their bonus voucher. Then we spent a little bit of fun on Biscayne Bay with some high speed flybys and powerboat action uh, heading southbound towards Key Largo where we stopped off at that landmark Gilbert's Resort in Key Largo for a huge lunch stop and that is where we left our teams as many of them had just enjoyed lunch and we're getting back on the boats for that scenic ride through the Florida Keys. And it has become a tradition for the European teams to come all the way across the Atlantic to join us and that's exactly what Sebastian did. He's from Switzerland and now enjoying the poker run on this Nortec 3900 Super V, very similar to the boat I used to own, the King of Clubs. And we saw just a little of this team on the last show. This is Mike Boland who came all the way from California. Team Rosie is a 39 foot Outer Limits GTX and it is one of 17 Outer Limits models registered here on this poker run which is totally now 269 teams. Of course, Outer Limits Power Boats is joining us once again as a sponsor of the Key West Poker Run. And for their second year in a row, we welcome back Tonka Simpson and his crew all the way from Bermuda in this 38-foot fountain center console team drinking fountain. But that's just a team name. That doesn't mean that they're sitting in the boat right now getting sloshed. No, we have rules about that, guys. No drinking and driving when you're registered for the run. And you're going to see a lot of these 34 MTI cats on the poker run. That's because it's the new wave of demand for these outboard powered cats. And that's because Mercury Racing had put out such a powerful engine in the Mercury 400 Verado. But then they trumped the deck with this brand new 450R. Brandon came all the way from California to join us. And I had a chance to meet with him later at the MTI Fun Run in March because... There are so many people on the Key West run, we never really get a chance to hang out and socialize with our members uh, the way we'd like to, but I got a chance to hang out with Brandon and his crew and a few other MTI teams uh, having dinner at the A&B Lobster House in Key West uh, on the MTI run, and it was a great evening. And I'd like to personally thank Brandon and his crew for coming all this way, all the way from California, to join us on this Key West Offshore Poker Run. And really congratulate you, uh, Brandon, on this brand new MTI 34 with uh, Mercury Racing 450s. What a ride. And now let's join the Nortec gang at the uh, Nortec Owners Lunch. This is Sundowners in Key Largo. It's about uh, three miles from Gilbert's right here in Blackwater Sound. And it was the perfect venue for Nortec owners to get together and uh, have a factory sponsored lunch. We did it the previous year at Playa Largo with great results, so we thought we would uh, give it a try again, but with a change of venue. Sundowners is a very popular restaurant here in Key Largo. Sidecar XL. There you go. American Custom Marine. Perfect. Nortec. What's up? Right on. Nortec. Right on. Number one boat in the world, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> and it wouldn't be a great lunch without our FPC girls, Marissa and Sarah on hand to uh, help out with the lunch passes and keep you guys entertained but we really had a great lunch from what I hear I wasn't there because I had to go to the uh, another function 
but the food here is always fantastic, and we got a thumbs up from everybody. We apologize uh, to the Nortec gang and the participants for the docking situation. Uh, this, these are all new docks, and the new owners of the restaurant uh, didn't make friends very well with the marina next door. So that entire basin was supposed to be dedicated to the event to make docking a lot easier. So I'm going to fix that in the future. I've already met the management of the marina, and we are going to be welcome in the basin for tip service only so we don't have to raft 15 boats deep like we did here because it's unsafe, it's difficult to cross the boats, and it's hard on the paint jobs. And you got to love this shot that shows the variety and all the styles of boats that Nortec has built over the years uh, a little bit of everything uh, from these old school 3600 super cats to the wave of new center consoles that they're building all the way up to 56 feet in fact that 56 is in the raft up there and you know i think about the past and how nortec was a strong player with the v-bottom performance v-bottoms in the 90s then the 36 and the 43 and the 50 cats were strong through the next decade and then boom center consoles take over the world <laughs> well, it looks like the girls are making a move, guys, and I know that means you guys are going to follow real soon. So that means it's time for that scenic ride through the Florida Keys heading down to Marathon and to Key West. So, guys, let's get on it. Let's get out there. Now, at the very same time that the Nortec owners were having their lunch at Sundowners, just 10 miles away at Playa Larga was the cigarette owner's lunch, and it was the first time that we've staged that as part of the Key West Poker Run. And thanks to Skip Raver and to Eric Christensen, the new president of Cigarette, uh, they were able to come up with some nice goodie bags for everybody and uh, sponsored a great lunch at Soul by the Sea. So right at the end of the dock here, as the teams walked off the pier, they were greeted by the cigarette girls who had these nice uh, cigarette goodie bags. We had given the all of the t-shirt sizes for all the teams to Cigarette, and Eric and his team put together these nice goodie bags. So everyone got a nice souvenir t-shirt for the event. What's up, Philly? And um, I had a chance to ride with Philly and Skip and Eric and Bud on that AMG cigarette on the way down, but I had the Project 1080 here waiting for me. I left it here the night before. And there's plenty of docking for a good-sized group. I think that... You know, we had about 38 cigarettes registered for the run, but a lot of teams ran on the earlier run, uh, which was the Wednesday run. So they're already in Key West and therefore unable to join us here in Key Largo. Uh, here's the AMG cigarette that I had a chance to ride on for the first leg down from Miami down to Key Largo. But now I'm going to be jumping on board my own boat and finishing the ride on the Project 1080. The slips here are very narrow, so they're ideal really for these uh, 38, 39, and 42 cigarettes. You can nose the boat in, spring the lines, and step right off the bow, so it works out pretty well. So the FPC girls are going to join me for the ride. Their next mission is to be on the yacht for doing the poker cart handoff, and my next mission uh, is to get some help from Team Superbad to get this lobster line off my props. <laughs> So let's listen in as Sal Olivia pulls his 42X off of the dock and getting ready for that ride. Well, the Playa Largo did a great job on the lunch, and thanks to the Cigarette Factory sponsorship for putting this owner's lunch together. And note to self, Stu, always carry a spare set of sunglasses on the boat. Uh, the girls are putting their life jackets on. Uh, they have got to get a head start because we got to drop them off in Marathon to be the card girls at that big yacht that's going to hand off bonus voucher number two. Uh, so they're going to enjoy their first ride on Project 1080 as we weave through the Florida Keys. So let's enjoy the sights and the sounds of these Mercury Racing 540s as we take the next 50 mile leg through the scenic Florida Keys.
Thank God I had the wind deflectors up to at least stop the wind from blowing my eyeballs out of my head. But uh, I was squinting the whole way, and I got to remember to always carry spare sunglasses on the boat because when you lose yours, it sucks driving a speedboat without them. And we dropped our FPC girls off at the Next Era Energy poker card yacht so they could start handing off the bonus vouchers. Meanwhile, let's get back up in the helicopter and chase down some of our poker run teams as they weave through the keys. And it's great to see Jason and Lauren Yates back all the way from Virginia in Team Orange Crush. This is a 2009 model 50 Hustler powered by triple Mercury Racing 700 SCIs. At the time, it was a new model change. In fact, I think it was one of the first of the newer 50s. And they, of course, owned a 50 before that, one of the older style. So apparently they love their hustlers and uh, nice to see them back in the club. They were on a roll back in the 90s doing a lot of poker runs, but I think they took a little time off in between. Nice to see them back. And let's welcome back a very spirited team, Francis Marfiak from Connecticut and his 35-foot formula team. Yeah, baby. And I don't think he would miss this Key West poker run for the world. It's turned out to be his favorite event annually, and he'll be back every year. They make new team shirts every year, so I can't wait to see them at the party on Saturday night. Okay, Fran, I'm going to tell you this one more time. For getting great pictures, you got to move the boat over to the left into clean water. Remember that. Clean water for your photos next time, buddy. Well, here's a guy who's been working really hard all year building boats. That's Nick Buis and his wife Priscilla from Team Statement Marine. And they are on their very own Statement 38. There's five of them all together on this run. Three of them are 38s. And what Nick is doing here is illustrating why you buy a center console. I think from where I'm sitting, about 15, maybe 16 people on board. And you can never do that with any other kind of a boat. So everyone still has lots of room to move around, lots of seating, and enjoying the beautiful scenic ride. And Jason and Melissa Hill, their brand new statement. It's a 35 with brand new Mercury Racing 450s. What a nice setup. And unlike Nick Dewis, who just showed us he can have 15 people on board, they have decided we don't want 15 people on board. We just want it to be the two of us enjoying a ride on our brand new statement to the Key West Poker Run. We can leave our friends at home because this one's for us. And here's a team that we rarely catch up with. Kenny Armstrong from Texas and his 48-foot MTI Team Phantom powered by Mercury Racing 1350s. And the reason we can't catch him is because he usually drives the boat a lot faster and the helicopter cannot keep up. Uh, or they just stayed up partying the night before and they slept in and they missed the start of the run altogether. So this time I think everything worked out just fine. And it looks like Candy's kind of taking it easy these days, cruising along at about a nice comfortable 75, the perfect speed to enjoy the ride. And a couple that we love to have on these poker runs, and they have been really supportive over the last couple of years since they got this new 44-foot concept team retainage, which I looked up, Noel, and it has something to do with withholding payments until the construction project is done. I don't know, something like that. It has nothing to do with water. <laughs> but their boating lifestyle certainly involves a lot of water as they enjoy this 44 concept. Noel and Gretchen have done so many poker runs since they took delivery of this boat. They're almost like the factory team for concept because they're such great representatives. And the spirit that they get into illustrates, I think, that they just love these poker runs. Check out these outfits that they're wearing when they got their poker card earlier today at Grove Harbor Marina. This is the kind of stuff I absolutely love to see and I should be giving them a big award for this one. I think two of the features of this boat are the Quad Mercury Racing 400Rs and that massive forward cabin up front, the largest in its class. And thank you also to Concept Boats for sponsoring the Key West Poker Run. And it's Black Center Console time now, a second black boat. This is Bill Day in his 36-foot glass stream powered by Twin Mercury Racing 400Rs. He came all the way from Kentucky, where he operates Day Boat Sales, a Glassstream and Baja dealer. And we're now arriving at our next checkpoint, of course. Uh, everyone recognizes that white lighthouse, hence the name Ferro Blanco, and that is the location of the Hyatt Place Resort, as well as the Lighthouse Grill restaurant in the foreground. This is a landmark marina that was popular way back in the 90s when we started this Key West Poker Run. In fact, it was the very first destination that we visited in November of 1993 when we brought the Sonic Offshore Powerboat Club here. Fast forward 27 years, they've completely rebuilt the resort, a new restaurant, a new hotel, an all new marina that's capable of handling large motor yachts. And then way back in the background there on the left, that's a courtyard by Marriott, also brand new, making this an ideal poker run venue, not just for a stopover, 
but also for a destination weekend for the Florida Powerboat Club. And we did have a number of events here when they reopened the resort about five years ago. Uh, but since then, they got very busy with boating traffic of all kinds, uh, very seasonal traffic as well, uh, including the yachts and the, what we call the loopers that stop here for two or three days at a time. But it's difficult for us now to bring a big event here during the season. So these stopovers here en route to Key West are ideal. They provide us with all of the facilities that we need, including a uh, fully stocked gas dock, and off camera here right now is the fuel truck from VP Racing, which is fueling a lot of the high performance boats with that higher octane fuel that they very much need. So let's just uh, enjoy the sights and sounds of this checkpoint location at Ferro Blanca Resort, where teams are coming in for fuel and two lunch stops, one over at the Courtyard Marriott and one here at the Lighthouse Grill Restaurant. And it looks like a lot of the teams are putting the pointy end of the boat towards the exit of the marina, and that means they're headed for Key West. Let's join Matt and Anne-Marie Raymond from North Carolina, who are veterans on this event. The first team to show up in a modified 48 Fountain Express with five Mercury 400 Verados. I was just getting used to the baby blue. I kind of like it, but Matt says, no way. I'm a Ford guy, and I really love that new iconic silver from Ford. So... He's already painted the fountain. He gave me this picture yesterday to show me what he did with the boat. I think it looks fantastic. And by the way, thanks, Matt, for a great deal on a brand new Ford F-350 Dually that Geico Insurance is paying for because mine got stolen six weeks ago and I never got it back. Well, for many of you who are in tune with this industry, well, you know who Brian Forehand is. He's the owner of Marker 17 Marine. That was the name that was emblazoned on the side of Matt Raymond's uh, fountain. Uh, so Brian and his crew did all the rigging on that Fountain Express conversion. Of course, he did all the rigging on this boat as well. This is a 52-foot outer limits. As you can see, full canopy boat, twin lids. First lid uh, the, for the passengers in the rear has just been closed up. And one more to go up front. And another veteran of this event every year, Michael Alexander from New York with his 32-foot skater team, TJA Motorsports, uh, triple Mercury 300s, all the way from Long Island, New York. And while this boat is in perfect condition, I think that it would be fair to say that this late 90s skater would be considered a classic. And another big outer limits for the full canopy, Dr. Michael Jansen here from Colorado team. A watch your back, getting ready to close the lids on this as they fire up those Mercury Racing 1350, 1550s for that final leg into Key West. Oh, I really love this shot for obvious reasons. The architecture of that lighthouse is just classic. That original Ferro Blanco lighthouse, they've done a beautiful job restoring it. And another shot that illustrates the changing trends in these poker run boats. Look at that Wright Performance 36 Cat with brand new 450Rs. That's Mark Tuck in the background. And pulling out the dock here, Burton Kirsten in his brand new 34 MTI, also powered by Mercury Racing 450Rs. Notice how the motors were color matched to the blue graphics of the boat. I think it's just a gorgeous boat. And I'd like to once again remind everybody that MTI is a Key West Poker Run manufacturing sponsor, as well as Performance Boat Center, 
which is the exclusive dealer for the Wright Performance Scat line and also for MTI boats. Of course, the drone just giving us these spectacular images with all the color, the weather being so nice today, the lighting is ideal uh, for all of the colors of these amazing boats to just, you know, come to life. And that certainly is true of Eric Matson and uh, Ashley here in this new 36 skater. It's a 368 model powered by 900 sterlings. And even though the boat says Black Pearl on the sides, they prefer the name Team Pipe Dreams. And a quick shot here of Parnell and Wendy Olson in their 36 concept Team Latitude Adjustment. They came all the way from Michigan to join us and certainly not his first rodeo with the club. Parnell has been doing this Key West event as far back as the late 90s when he had a 35 foot cigarette cafe racer. And let's say hi once again to Michael and Nabita McClellan from Illinois in this 37 foot active thunder, Cold One Confessions. This boat was built in Pompano Beach, Florida by Active Thunder, which is just a couple of miles from the FPC headquarters. Well guys, uh, it turns out that there's always a good Samaritan on every poker run and this time it's Ray and Joe Kowalik from Missouri in their 42 foot MTI because they gave one of their friends a tow in who had a little bit of a fuel issue uh, to make it all the way to the fuel docks here at Fair Blanco. So thanks to team Bikini Bottom for helping Scott out and getting his 48 foot MTI safely to the dock where he could take on some fuel and finish the ride into Key West. And one more time with Bill Grigo and his crew from New York and Team Adjournment. This is a 35-foot fountain. We saw a little bit of this boat in our last episode. And I want to thank Bill for being so loyal and supportive of this event. We believe it's about five times in the last six years he's done this poker run. And one of two 33-foot deep impacts on this event, David and Sarid Arnold from Georgia, Team De-Stressed. And uh, they're all getting sun now, but in our last episode, you could see all the team, the guys and the ladies included, had matching outfits that had the same graphics and colors as the boats. And we're checking in one more time with Sam and Maria Glasso from New York with uh, sons Sammy and Angelo, who rode along on the family's brand new 2020 Fountain 47 Lightning, powered by Mercury Racing, Dual Cal 1350-1550s. And I think we're gonna see a lot more from the Fountain Factory in the years to come. And speaking of Fountain uh, 38 Fountain Center Console, Team Daddy's Girls, Quad Mercury 400 Verados. And you know what the answer to the question is, why four? Because we couldn't fit five. And as our drone uh, catches up to Robert Locke here in his 33 foot deep impact. I do want to shout out to our drone pilot Andre who I think is doing a great job with A3 Media for getting our drone uh, up close and personal with our teams uh, something that we absolutely cannot do with a helicopter and that gives us these great video shots here to enjoy in this show. And this shot giving us a great look at Rock and Rye 4 David Beach from New Jersey 44 foot outer limits and just something about the wide angle of this drone that makes this boat look like it's about 55 feet long. And as we transition from the drone shot to this dockside shot, I want to thank Ked from Zipsap Power, who came down to help us out with video. And I think that between the two of them and our own crew, we have really put together a great sequence of shots to really make you guys feel like you're there. And if you were there, it reminds you just how much fun it was to be here at this checkpoint at Ferro Blanco. Well, guys, with the cameras rolling, uh, we're going to crank the audio up and make you feel like you're here. The only thing we can't give you is the smell of the gas or the smell of that exhaust when the engines fire up. So enjoy the next couple of minutes of this Ferro Blanco checkpoint.
Well, we hope you feel like you've just been right here at the event, guys. And uh, we've got plenty more of this Ferro Blanco checkpoint footage. We're going to uh, say farewell for the time being, though, and bring some more of this back in the next show. But what we'd like to do is get over to the yacht because we've got a lot of teams that are now heading over to do their poker cards. And this is an annual tradition with the yacht anchor just off of Ferro Blanco. This checkpoint is sponsored by Nextera Energy Marketing, and this is a 102-foot Mayora motor yacht. Mark Palancian is the club member who set all of this up for us, and he has for many years now, and he's got a big party on board. These are all power marketing executives who work in the power industry, and they are enjoying uh, this fabulous weekend as guests of Nextera Energy Marketing. And our FPC girls, Alyssa and Mary, handing off to Cold One Confessions. That 37-foot act of thunder that came all the way from Illinois to attend their first time. And here's John and Suzanne Stella from New York in their 38-foot statement. Team, send it. And I've got to say that uh, I think the captain is fired on this deal because uh, I asked him to get at least a 6 or an 8-foot pole. He's got a 3-foot pole. And he didn't put out a whole bunch of fenders on the back end of that 102 Mayora. So it was very unsafe for the handoff. So you're fired, Captain Allen. We're going to have to get a new captain who can set all this stuff up properly for us next time. But in the meantime, let's do the best we can as Alyssa hands off to Team Savage. That's Leon and Maley Ramos in their brand new 399 Deep Impact. And Michael Tandoy, his very first run with the club in this 35-foot motion team, Reckless Endangerment. It's powered by Mercury Racing 525s. And I know he's got it for sale because he's got himself a new skater coming soon. And I know that Michael and all of you teams are very anxious to get out and do poker runs again. And let's say hi once again to Ray Aki from Miami and his 399 Deep Impact team, Hammer Time. And uh, it looks like he's got kind of a dude boat situation going on, which is very unusual for Ray because this is not the way he rolls normally. This is the way Ray normally rolls. This was Key West Poker Run 2018, just a year earlier. And there he is at the helm, very happy. What do you think, Stu? Do I get Sexiest Crew Award or what? <laughs> well, you ain't getting no Sexiest Crew Award in 2019, Ray. I'm sorry. You're four dudes here. That's big points off. you got to make up for it next year. I know you just had a baby, so we're going to let you slide for 2019. And another quick rendezvous with Matt and Anne-Marie Raymond from North Carolina in this big 48-foot fountain. All dressed up in powder blue the last time you're going to see it like this because, as I showed you earlier, it's a silver boat now. And it's been a couple of shows uh, since we've seen this crew, Patrick and Leigh McClark from New York, in their contender. It's their first Key West Poker Run, so join me in welcoming them to the club. And say hi to Ramon and Cachavira from Florida in this 35-foot bulletproof. Uh, he's the expert on bulletproof flooring. He did my cigarette for me but now he's building his own boat. So a real cool looking center console with Mercury Racing 400s. And it's Bruno and Rebecca Pere from Florida in this 39 foot Outer Limits Team Megawatts. They've attended the Key West event every year since they bought the boat about three years back. And it looks like our two FPC girls, Alyssa on the left and Mary on the right, are going to say farewell for the time being. We hit that 30-minute mark, and that means that we are going to sign off from Episode 8 as we say goodbye for the time being only because, remember, we got plenty more episodes coming back, guys, with feature coverage of Florida Powerboat Club's Key West Poker Run 2019 edition, showcasing 269 poker run teams from around the globe on this signature poker run event that happens every November. In our next episode, we'll have continued coverage of our dockside fun at Ferro Blanco Resort, as well as more poker card handoffs here from this big 102 Mayora motor yacht sponsored by Nextera Energy Marketing. And of course, some high speed thrills as we chase these power boating teams from the helicopter as they head offshore to Key West. We're gonna continue our commitment to you guys through this COVID-19 crisis to continue promoting the club and giving you as much content here on our YouTube channel, Florida Powerboat Club. Remember to subscribe to the channel, share it with all your friends, and make sure that everybody hits that notification bell so you get all of the updates every time a new episode is released. You can find out what's going on with the club, including any event cancellations due to the COVID-19 crisis. That's all on our club website at flpowerboat.com. 
And of course, we're on Facebook at Florida Powerboat Club. You can follow us on Twitter and on Instagram. Thanks for watching. This is Stu Jones from the FPC Studios along with producer Ryan McCoy. We're going to say bye for now, guys. Remember, if you do get a chance to get out boating, always be safe out there. Respect your fellow boater. Follow those coronavirus guidelines that are spelled out by our government officials. And if you want to go fast, be sure to wear those life jackets. Take care. Bye for now. These YouTube episodes are brought to you by Mercury Racing Wide Open and by OffLeaseOnly.com, the nation's used car destination. In addition to our 2020 series sponsors pictured here, we'd like to recognize all of these Key West 2019 feature sponsors as seen here on our official event masthead. This is the artwork for our official souvenir t-shirts, posters, and banners. These sponsoring partners play a vital role and it's through their support that Florida Powerboat Club can produce this signature Key West Poker Run event.